Okay, today I'm going to be doing the ultimate soda challenge. First, what I'll do is I'm going to drop some Mentos into Coke in my vacuum chamber, but I'm going to do it at atmospheric pressure first to see what it looks like as my control. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put an open soda bottle in there and turn on the vacuum and see how much it fizzes. And then for the grand finale, I'm going to put an open soda can under vacuum while dropping a Mentos in there and see what it looks like. So in order to get a fair comparison, I'm going to open my Coke bottle, I'm going to put the lid on the chamber, and I'm going to have my Mentos suspended by a string connected to a magnet, and I'll release that magnet and have it fall in there, just so we can have the lid on it, the same way that we'll have the lid on it when, we're, when it's under vacuum. Okay, so what this Mentos is going to do is it's going to create a lot of tiny little nucleation sites. Those are sites where the CO2 can begin dissolving out of the liquid. And so that's why it's going to make it go faster. Okay, Mentos at atmospheric pressure. Three, two, one. <laughs> there we go. The top of the lid is kind of containing it, but you can see how much it's coming out. So that's why I put the lid on it because I want to see what this looks like because when we put it under vacuum, it's going to have the lid on it. So let's compare how fizzy that was to how fizzy it gets without a Mentos in a vacuum chamber. Okay, Coke in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Not much happening. So it's starting to bubble really fast there. We're at around 0.25 atmospheres. It's really bubbling now. So it's not boiling yet. We're, at, we're not at low enough pressure for it to boil, but the CO2 is just bubbling off it like crazy. We're at around 0.1 atmospheres. So this looks like it's boiling, but it's really just degassing it. It's getting rid of all the carbon dioxide that was in there. And I know that because it's not at low enough pressure for it to boil yet. Okay, I'm gonna stop it there and let in the air. That's gonna be some flat soda now. Let's test it. There's still a little bit of fizz. Okay, the grand finale. I'm going to put the Coke in there put it under vacuum and drop my Mentos in there. I've got my Mentos hanging by my magnet there. So we'll see how far of a vacuum I can get. You can see with the last one that fizzed up a bit. So I might drop the Mentos before it gets to full vacuum. So we'll see what happens. Okay, dropping Mentos and Coke in a vacuum. Three, two, one. Okay, the 
pressure's dropping. Starting to fizz a little, looks just like the last one. We're at less than half an atmosphere, 0.4 atmospheres. Okay, I'm gonna release it soon. We're at about 0.2 atmospheres. Okay, three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> okay, that's fizzing a lot more than the one at atmospheric pressure. That's just pouring out of there. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> wow. Look at all that. Holy cow. Wow, the whole the whole Coke bottle just got emptied. <laughs> That's awesome. You can still see it fizzing out the bottom there a little bit. <laughs> if only I had a really big vacuum chamber that we could see it shoot up, that would have looked awesome to just shoot up like crazy as soon as the mantles dropped into it. You see we're still releasing some CO2 here. It's amazing how much CO2 is actually contained in the water. Okay, that was pretty awesome. Let's let the air back in, see what it looks like. Three, two, one. You can see it's no longer releasing any CO2. Okay, only that much coke is left in there. So let's give that a taste and see how flat it is. Yeah. There's no carbonation left in there, completely gone. The other one that I tested earlier, it still was fizzy a little bit, but this one is completely flat. All that CO2 is gone. And if you want to see what a soda does when it's not open, I've already done that. I put a can of Sprite in my vacuum chamber. You can check out that video. It's pretty cool. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you liked it. You can leave me some comments in the comment section with what you'd like to see me do next time, and I'll see you next time.